They'll be calling you a radical. It's time, right here, right now. It's time. It's time. You know, we can sit around as talking heads and watch freaking everybody get into the street and we can march down freaking streets and we can yell and we can hold up signs and we can put up banners and we could do all this till we're blue in the face, which we've done to our but We could sit and say, oh, we want our freaking trap an AK-47 and walk down the street trying to intimidate people. We could sit and freaking say, oh, we can do all this, all we want. We go on freaking Bill Maher. We can go on television. We are never going to accomplish one fucking thing in this fucking country. Not one thing until we could fucking fundamentally understand the fucking cure. First, we have to understand the fucking problem, which we've got that. Occupy was a power th powerful thing. It rolls up, but it's true. No detail leadership. Look, it's time. I'm a huge supporter of Occupy. Occupy did so many good things, but it's true in detail. First, I want to clear up a few things. Number one, Megan Rice is sitting in a prison cell. That is the iconic metaphorical symbol of all of this. This site right here that a guy in Phoenix has organized for me to try to raise a little bit of funds. You do know I have AML leukemia. I'm fighting for my freaking life. I was involved with the Inception Occupy. I was due to speak. Boom, I got hit by a truck in early October of 2012. And as you guys know, they've been falling along this log long before I was trying to start post ignorance to coincide with the 100 year anniversary of the shirtwaist fire. As I wrote in my post ignorance book in 10 10 10, I coincided with the murder of John Lennon. That's when this madness started. Look, simply, in detail, Fukushima happened. I was trying to tie it for 3 25 11. Fukushima happened. 3 11, the greatest catastrophe. It's a whole new hierarchy. Look, we need to reorganize this movement right here, right now. This movement needs to happen. In the street, yeah. In people's houses, yeah. But this talking head hyperbole that just, blah, blah, blah. I love it how buy gold at 45 when it crashes. Buy freaking silver. I mean, it's just crazy. The dollar's going to crash when the dollar already crashed. We are living in the time now. Don't sit and tell me about what's going to happen. It's happened. It's here. The nuclear freaking genie's out of the bottle. It's mass murdering us. Until we realize the two biggest catastrophes in the history of the world. One, the nuclear freaking experiment, the 70 year nuclear experiment is a gigantic failure that is spilled into the military industrialized complex. That's not a cliche. That is very real. The police state is everybody says, oh, I want to get a gun. I'm all for your guns. But look, you're all gunned. I, I mean, we can sit and have these conversations all day, back and forth, gun, abortion, all these things, and we all accomplish nothing. Look, in detail, in detail, what do we need? It's very simple to say, this is the same mood, the same time, the same place, regressive wages, freaking people swashing down on the rest. This is the Enlightenment versus labor. This is the same argument we had in 1776. There are only two ways, two ways to get out of this hole, this unbelievable nightmare. There are two tools. There have always been two tools. The same tools that we used in 1776. The same tools that we used in the 1850s, 1860s. I'm putting a stop to usury. Putting a stop to slavery. How do we do it? People were enslaved. We want to go back to the time of Dixon's as King George. He's, they name him George for a re I mean, you know, World War II took out that freaking inbred hierarchy family, left one of them standing by default over there, and you guys want to worship that. We don't, we, we don't want that system. This is America. When are we going to start acting like America's? When are we going to go in to freaking send the Navy in a tomb? What are the tools? What are the tools? Simply. Tariffs. Tariffs. What this country was founded on. We need a rebirth of Occupy. But we need it. I mean, I don't care what we name it. Look. Anonymous, they have to be such a big, powerful part of this. Anonymous is a powerhouse. Anonymous can make things happen. They can do things. They're powerful, credible men. We need to unite the clans. We need Occupy. We need Anonymous. We need all of We need Cornell West. We need his army. We need my army. We need all of our freaking anti-nuclear environmentalists. Look, this is a new hierarchy. 311, 11 changed everything. I want to say this. My beautiful friend that went into the bone marrow transplant center with me, Tracy, who fought like hell. He was the fighter. He picked people up. He was head of our support group. He and I and Brian. He fought. I never seen anybody fight like that. He never gave up. 
He passed this week. One year older than me, just been married for a year. As I've lost so many, as you know, Paul, Dan, so many people have fought along this vlog. This vlog's gone on long enough to, we have an army. I have an army. I have an incredible, incredible investigative journalist army. We need tariffs, number one. We need usury laws. Jesus Christ threw the moneylenders out of the temple. We need, we understood this. 5% above prime. That's what they were. These guys have done this too. Until you know these things, you can sit and talk all you want, blah, blah. You can march all the want. These are going to do nothing. We need to freaking get a massive movement across this country that has real power, that has real knowledge. We have to have tariffs. You could say, oh, we want these free market fairy tales. Okay, free market fairy tales. When the freaking Fukushima is in full China syndrome and all three have burned all the way through the center of the earth and the earth's gone, when someday we get another earth, we'll learn from that. And so, free market, yeah, the free market will take care of it. When we get another earth, maybe we'll do it right next time. It won't go to nuclear. We can't do it. Look, the United States Navy has to go in now. We have to force the Obama administration to step away from nuclear. This military industrial complex, it's not a cliche. It's not a cliche. It's very real. This philosophy has been like this for freaking thousands of years. America was the beacon light. It was the light. It was the great experiment that freaking broke away from all the repression. They were the anti-slavery, the greatest, strongest, middle class in world history via tariffs. When Greenspan hijacked the Fed, that Anne Rand freaking, she was a novelist. He was a terrorist. This is the greatest redistribution of wealth in the history of mankind. Up, the funnel gets tighter and tighter. And it's true. The CNN board members, the Fox board members, the nuclear board members, the people that own the nuclear plants, they're not public utilities, the people that own the banks, the banks, they're the same fucking people. We have to organize. We have to get together in detail. Look, there's my phone number. Let's put this baby together. You know, is it going to be the million mass man marching? Maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. But we have to do this very different this time. We need Cornell West on our side. We need Cindy Sheehan with us. We need powerhouses like those two people. Those two people are movers. Those people know how to organize. They know in detail. My army is ready to go. Unite the fucking clans. Yeah, guns, guns, you want to bring it? No, leave your fucking guns home. We're outgunned. Don't you get it? We are outgunned. This is a philosophical battle, but we have to have weapons to fight this philosophical battle with. What is our weapon? Knowledge. We have to understand what really was the Revolutionary War. What really was the Civil War. We have to understand the Herrick Beecher Stowe's. We have the Tom Browns of the time. We have Snowden. We have Bradley Manning. We have the freaking people willing to give their lives. We've waved the fucking red flag. This is, look, this vlog of mine, this army of mine, there's people that have sucked in. I have whistleblowers from CNN. I have grassroots freaking newspaper reporters all over. I have it. I have the army. Let's organize. Let's do this. Let's put, no, you're not anonymous. Cornell West group. Cindy Sheehan's Peace Lovers Group. We're the same people. We do this in detail. We want to end to the military madness, freaking mass murdering, fake Christian complex. We do it through tariffs. We cannot compete with freaking slaves. The antebellum slave freaking owner and the modern day corporation slave, they're the same people. We have one tool. Alexander Hamilton knew it. Abraham Lincoln knew it. McKinley knew it. FDR knew it. We need to know it. This cannot be leaderless. It has to have leaders. We have leaders. We have Cornell West. We have Cindy Sheehan. We have all of the. We have Anonymous. We have Occupy. Put them together. Put them together. I call it post ignorance. Here's this site. I need to raise a little bit of money. Just, I don't need much. I need a little bit of money. I'm freaking sick. I forked over everything I am. I'm fighting for my life. Do I have nothing left to lose? I don't have anything left to lose. I freaking give less than 1%. Chance. I still have less than a 50 50 chance of living. I'm tired of watching people die. We need to force the Obama administration to the Navy. The Navy needs to break ranks. We need the Navy. And I've met with them. I, they're ready. So are the Marines. It's these broke ranks. We need them to go in and entomb Jer Fukushima. This is the hierarchy. I tried to organize this in symphony with the 100-year anniversary of the shirtwaist fire. The, the parallels are so dynamic there. 2011. Well, something happened. Right as that happened, boof. 3, 11, 11, changed everything. 
It changed everything. We're the downwitters. We are being annihilated. There's China Cinder going over there. They haven't gone in because that would admit the whole nuclear. We need to admit that the nuclear 70-year experiment is a failure. Put it where we put the mustard gas out here in the freaking site and let's get rid of it. This fucking madness needs to fucking end before we end. The economic theory of the Anrad fear terrorists, he said we'd hear a giant sucking sound. This free market fairy tale of no terrorists, we had terrorists from 70, 76, 90. It's been a fucking failure. We cannot ever have any kind of economic fucking growth of reality competing with fucking 7 billion people with fucking slaves in Indonesia and slaves in China as they are fucking repressed. Let's do this. Let's. It's right here, right fucking now. Anonymous, Occupy, Corona West, Shit, Cindy Sheehan, all these fucking groups, we need to come together now. We have leaders. Tariffs, usury laws, but bigger than that, the environment, we need to entomb Fukushima now. Now. It's too fucking late. Well, let's find out before it is too late. Are we going to wait and see if Einstein, Sokarov, and all of them are right? They hypothesized that it would burn through the center of the fucking earth and end humanity. Enough, enough, enough. Here's my website. Here's my number. Let's fucking do this. Stay tuned.